Good morning, everyone. Hope you had a, a lovely weekend. I hope that the energy of everyone in America drawing inward instead of being overcommitted is rippling into your heart. I know that there's a lot of anxiety. I, I have my concerns that there will be so many that just aren't taken care of that are following the protocol of not working and shutting their businesses and in return won't receive the support and the help that they're going to need as we come out the other side here. I think that's probably one of my primary concerns. I'm not sure what yours are coming into this week where the voluntary lockdown or shutdown is extended through the end of April. So let's jump into the topic. Being in alignment with yourself. The, the words for this topic came to me from something I attended yesterday. I, there's an ecstatic dance here in Boulder that I love to go to Sunday mornings because the woman who leads it, Melissa Michaels, to, to my heart is very much a priestess. And so her words are gold. And I, I joined her, her virtual ecstatic dance, which had 200 people on it and danced with people from around the world. And she, she guides with her words and her words to me are so infused with spirit. And it was towards the end, and it's usually towards the end that she, she taps that place where I'll begin to cry a bit. It was towards the end that she said, begin to dance that you will be in alignment with yourself. Because we were being aligned to the greater, higher power, universal life force. And then she said, now dance to be in alignment with yourself. And it hit me very deeply in the moment because wherever we, I include myself, wherever we have mental anguish or ways that we'll circle around something that hits a deep place with us, wherever we have that kind of tension, what it's pointing to is that we're not aligned with ourselves. And I could go down many avenues as to why that is. But oftentimes it's because we're afraid of the loss or the solitude that would happen when we step into this quickening into alignment with ourselves. But what was infused to me from what Melissa said was that to be in alignment with ourselves is the greatest gift that we could give to God, to the world. Oftentimes we look at, at relationships outside of ourselves and how we can come into alignment in spirit with the things or the situations outside of ourselves. But to reflect deeply on the self-esteem and self-possession that happens when we are in alignment with ourselves. And we know what it is and we know what it isn't because what it isn't is when we have the inner conflict. What it is, is when we surrender into the simplicity of the knowing that's either coming forth, has come forth, or wishes to come forth. But there we are wise enough that we know when we're playing in realms that are superficial to that. And I was reflecting, since I'm trying to draw upon the life of Jesus or the stories of Jesus here, a striking quality he gives is his alignment with himself, right? Let's even just start from one, one uh, passage we had focused on the baptism, his baptism. That was the beginning of his public ministry in, in the story. And when he heard those words, they so spoke a truth that it put him in alignment with himself. And he was propelled from that alignment in every one of his interactions. If we look at the words and the parables and the stories that are attributed, 
he never deviates from that, right? He stands solitary and where that alignment draws him into connection, he relishes it. And where that alignment forces him to take a stand. I mean, he himself said, I've come to be a source of division. He himself has drawn a, a line that has mm, come forth from anger and zeal. He has spoken. He's not just stood there, but his words speak from that place. So this morning's meditation is a, all about that coming into that convergence within ourselves and realizing that anything less than that, we're settling for less. And our lives are such a breath. They're passing so quickly. And so to settle for anything less than alignment with ourselves, we, we don't waste a breath. I don't think anything is ever lost. But we delay the satisfaction and gratification and liberation that are meant to be ours. We delay the juiciness that spirit wishes to be in our form and that we as self-reflective can participate in it in a knowing way. God will be all in all. But the more we're in alignment with ourselves, the more we get to enjoy our life. And there's no greater gift that we could give to the world than to thoroughly enjoy every word that comes out of our mouths. So if you have any distance between the inner truth of your knowing of your being and how you parlay your words, if there's any distance there, this morning's devotional is an invitation and an activation to quicken into that convergence. I want that gift for you. So if you need affirmation from the outside, I want to say that I want that gift for you, that you benefit me by stepping into alignment with yourself. That the ripple of that bliss, that wisdom that happens within you will build my life up. And of course, I'm just standing here as a symbol for the rest of the world to you. So may those words be a further encouragement. Encourage is the word here to surrender into the activation of alignment with yourself. So I invite you to close your eyes. And if you're comfortable, I want to invite you to stand. The vertical aspect of our physicality can be a gateway and a symbol to the to alignment, this straight, solid, up and down force within the world that walks horizontally outward into the world. But you do so as a as a a, a one that walks more vertical than horizontal. We're not on all fours anymore. and stand with your feet clearly on the ground, hips width apart. Feel the connection of your soles with the floor. And bring the focus to the solar plexus, the third chakra, a few inches above the belly button. And with your focus, bring the breath there.
And with the breath, let the energy of the solar plexus, this I am within you, let it be like the breath or light or energy moving downward through the hips and legs and feet, moving downward deep, deep into the earth, swiftly and easily. And let it come to the center point of creation. Notice whether that's the earth, the galaxy, the universe, the universes, whatever is the center point. Don't push or use your mind. Naturally fall into the center point. There's no greater or less. And notice that as this energy taps the center of the creative world, there is naturally a reciprocity that the heart of creation fills you. And this is to clarify, to correct, to bring into alignment your reason that you are here. Draw the gaze back up to the solar plexus and allow this informing to happen. But simultaneously, let the breath, the light, the energy move upward through the body, upward through the crown of the head, through the transpersonal point, upward to that that is beyond creation. Remembering that this individual opening naturally evokes the universal reciprocity. You are met here. Surrender. Say yes.
and say yes to more. Saying yes gives you the consolation of resting into who you are. Saying yes to more ignites the movement of you becoming all that you are meant to be as well. And in the paradox of that, you do so stepping in alignment. The very goal itself is the very means by which the goal happens. And from this place, and trust every part of your life. As we begin to end the devotional, make the inward commitment to one thing. Let your eye be pure so that your body will be filled with the light of alignment with yourself. And just as wrinkles in a sheet are shaken out, so the many wrinkles in your own life will be straightened, make straight the path. And from that place, I invite you to open your eyes. I know we didn't ground this devotional, but what I'd like you to do as you end this devotional is once we're offline together, take a few moments and walk through your living space. Walk through as, as a being that is aligned with self. And in that way, you'll ground what we've done, but also create an attitude that today you're going to walk that way in the world. Blessings, my friends. Great to be with you.